You love tuna and other fish dishes, but the mercury is cause for worry. Mercury compounds, like methylmercury, are chemical byproducts that can contaminate some of the fish we eat. While mercury at very low concentrations hasn't been shown to significantly harm adults, it can be extremely bad for babies. When a pregnant woman ingests mercury from fish, it can pass easily through a mother's body into the placenta and from there into the baby. This metal is toxic to a baby's nervous system and can result in disabilities ranging from cerebral palsy to mental retardation. For this reason, while you are pregnant, it is wise to avoid large, high-mercury fish, including shark, swordfish, king mackerel, and tilefish. Tuna isn't completely off-limits, but pregnant women should limit their consumption of it and avoid tuna steaks and fillets, which have been shown to be high in the toxin. Instead, Stick to light canned tuna and don't consume more than six ounces of it per week. You can feel safe about consuming smaller fish like sardines, catfish, and tilapia. Most shellfish is fine as well, with the exception of lobster, which, like tuna, has moderate mercury content. Unfortunately, methylmercury remains in your system for up to a year after it is ingested. As a result, Mercury consumed prior to pregnancy can harm a fetus, so it's wise to minimize dangerous fish in advance if you're trying to conceive. If you became pregnant unexpectedly and know that you've consumed large amounts of mercury, don't panic. It most likely won't have any consequences. However, you should stop eating fish that have mercury and talk to your doctor. If you are concerned about the level of mercury in your system, you can always have a test performed to be certain just because mercury is bad for you doesn't mean you should stop eating fish. But this is a complex and important issue, and you should speak to your doctor to determine what is the best choice for you.